Jerry's gonna enjoy it. Yep, so I'm trying to get on the roof now. Oh look, we're on the roof. All this. Well, if you wanted to see the next door's roof, see how good it is, this is always a good way to look. I'm here in Sydney in Rosebury and we're going to look at a property which potentially have an uplift potential. It's vacant, and but it's got a bit of a roof space. It's a little bit interesting, which is why we're here and my team is here to have a look at the building part of the business, uh, well, the property, not the business, and how you would put a tenant in, how can you be creative with something like this. So let's have a look at the building. So you can see the building is across the road. I've just had a nice lunch at one of the strip shops there. Um, with uh, It's a very ethnic community. It looks like an old rundown factory. And it's one of the top levels up there. And we can see that the top level up there, it says for sale. It's actually going to auction. It was for sale for a while, now it's going to auction. Uh, it's got a few interesting tenants, but let's have a look at what it actually lends and what we can do with this property because all the houses here are pretty old but obviously with uh, it being close to the CBD uh, and um, being close to the airport this property lends itself with some uplift potential and we've got you know Fitness Plus next door I've uh, got VR King so it's just one right up the top there what are the tenants here? Yeah, but it doesn't look like that's tenanted. Okay. So um, we're here in the basement of this property. Uh, look, it looks significantly newer on the inside than it does on the outside. The only downside is of course, it's only one parking space and then there's a storage area there. So you could fit another car in the store in the storeroom, but most people, if you have a tenant, probably want to use it as storage space. But it is quite a neat place when you look at it from the inside. Let's go in and see what it looks like. So here I'm on level one. And again, it looks totally different because there is only two offices. But the interesting thing is, you can see it's more of a warehouse and an office space. So interesting, no floor plans, no layouts. And that's the interesting thing of if you ever have a whole floor, and one of the ways to do uplift if you can't get freestanding is to buy a whole floor of a property and then you can divvy it up the way that you want to actually layer it out. So you can do multiple tenants, two tenants. So if you have two tenants, you've got less common area and less common area cleaning and they each take care of their own. If you have you know, six or seven tenants, you're gonna end up having to fork out probably common area cleaning and also there's maintenance and also some electricity as well. So have a think about that if you do think about strata properties. Kitchen. We've got some, you need to look at the kitchen. Not that bad. Oh, it's very small, the kitchen. Yeah, yeah. of course, you need to open plan it, right? Yeah. But good view. Yeah, the view's yeah, beautiful. The light's really good. Light. Once you open it up, the light's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> You're just trying to be blending in with the wall, are you? A very well, orange wall. Because that is on title. Yes, but this is what we came here to, to see, is the roof. <laughs> and so all of this stuff in office can just go. So if you want open plan, I mean, obviously this is owner occupier. So if you want open plan, you just knock all of this stuff back. You know, for a law firm, an accounting firm, it could be really good. I mean, the carpet's obviously very worn. I would just strip that back. You could quite make a, quite a lovely uh, property inside and you really want someone that's local to this area who wants who can appreciate this and not just look at the building so who used to be here this gentleman. the landlord oh just the landlord so he occupied here for all this time yeah and 
it was never tenanted by a real tenant. No. Mm -hmm. And this is, the, if you have a look on the computer, Helen, that's the, the roof. Huh. Look, he's got the same size computer as Stephen does. <laughs> massive. Yeah, massive. The view is great. The view is beautiful, um, so you can make all these walls down. Yeah. One of the things that they don't tell you about when you look at office spaces, and so for example, you're on level three or level one, most people never go to the other levels. They never go to, you know, level two or level five. So they actually never see if the rest of the building are actually vacant or tenanted. And which is why here I'm an inspection. I'm going to check out all the other floors, how many vacant, how many are tenanted, who's owner occupier, who's tenanted. And then I'm going to check on the strata plan to see what matches up with what. So let's have a look. So here at level two, the layout's pretty similar to upstairs. So we've got a couple of vacancies there, so it'd be interesting to have a look at them. Um, different, slightly different, you know, blue walls and stuff. Interesting to have a dance academy here. Um, it's got some kind of tuition. Uh, we've got the different type of tenants. So there's one for lease. It'd be interesting to find out how much they're leasing per square meter. So I can Google that and find that. Shoes. We've got an office space there. And seems like a lot of these people are closed. So definitely looks like the inside's a straightforward office space with a kitchenette. Looks like it's closed too. Could be an owner occupier. Holistic therapies. Let's see if I can find them. Nope. And we're at the end of it time. Oh, what are they doing here? Oh, is this a This is the one that just sold for six five. Oh, this sold for six five for me. That's six thousand five hundred. Wow. What are they putting in here? Just an office. Okay. Well, they've got nice views. Yeah. All oh, right, cool. We're looking at we're looking at the property next door, and as a comparison, yeah, that's right. <laughs> what you can do with it, right? Yeah. So we're doing an inspection. Oh, what you can't? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, guys. You know, this sounds terrible, but it looks significantly better on the inside than it does from it does. the outside. Yeah, that's what I said to Tom before. If you did the app, like if you just painted the outside because it's rendered, you could add so much value and did a new front door. How many are in here? There's three or three. Yeah. yeah. I thought it was like an old factory when I looked at the outside. Oh, I love the streets. Isn't that amazing? It's like when you look at the inside of the building, it looks so different from what it can look like on the outside. So you should never judge a book by its cover. So this is another one being renovated. So this is an accounting firm and we've got the bathrooms here and obviously the exit. You're filming me. No, actually I'm filming next door but the what's what's around. <laughs> but I love sneaking into places being renovated. <laughs> oh wow. It's steep. With the rooftop. Yeah. You have a choice, right? I don't know. To jump choice. or not to jump? Is that the choice? <laughs> Is this where the wing? Oh, sorry. Is yeah, I'll oh. explain that. This is um. Solar panels? Yeah, like, This is why you came panels. here, right? Yes, yeah, so I just came here. For the excitement of it, right? Sure, that's why I live for rooms. Roofs. Oh, no, this is the access. Oh, is that the Where is this go? That's the lift, is it? <laughs> that has the... There, is that? I'll show you how you get in. Oh. Yeah, Alright, yeah. in the dark. <laughs> what happened to my light person? Yeah. Oh, it's 
one single garage space. Yeah. Well, it's a size of a single garage. I haven't measured it. But... Yeah, you're working overtime in mine. From my knee upwards. From your knee upwards. Okay. Is it a video? So this is the outside of the building and you can see it's still actually really run down. So if you're part of this space here, this this space, I guess it could be an office or with a retail shop front. It's definitely landing itself that it was probably once a retail shop. Um, can't really see it, but I guess through the gaps we can see bits and pieces of stuff. We can see the lighting at the front. They probably really need to be rendered. Uh, and we've got the side gardens. So, you know, you can get access to the side. And again, if you're at the front, you have this little courtyard, which probably be part of your exclusive use space, whereas the roof is part of the people at the top level, you know. But this is more functional, definitely, than the people at the top. Uh, we've got some building solutions, and then that must be, this is the boundary. So that actually belongs to another property, and we've got some parking at the front. We're just going to define on the strata plan which one belongs to which. So as you see, each inspection is very unique and each inspection that each property we go to is very unusual. And of course, the strategy behind it is uh, different as well. So it fits different type of clients. As I always say that we actually specialize in building out a portfolio with you uh, as you try to get to your financial freedom goal. So it's not transactional. It's always about our team working with you to get there and breaking it down so you can see uh, what happens when you buy your first property your second property the one after but nevertheless it is actually when lots of people say there's upsides in in properties and people are looking for the hidden upsides and you know there's the obvious ones you know of subdivision extension more letable areas but you know people don't uh, always say that um, look at a um, basically a roof area and go oh like that's an upside or that potentially you can put solar on something as an upside so there's many different ways of looking at upsides whether it's a true upside or not that actually really depends on when you do the calculations what you intend to do and what is actually going to be the rent so that you don't overcapitalize on the actual deal so if you are trying to get your head around it or if you're looking for someone to actually mentor you or you want to be part of a community you actually want to get more awareness around commercial property reach out to me at helentarrant.com or book into one of my strategy calls uh, or just simply check out more youtube videos podcasts there's plenty of ways to immerse yourself in commercial property as i always say it's a vacation and if you need a guiding hand reach out to me helen at commercialpropertycashflow.com.au i look forward to seeing you in the next video bye for now